In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to set up an animation blueprint from scratch using some animations from the Mail Locomotion Pack off of Mixamo. So I'm going to begin by creating a new folder in my Mixamo character folder, and I'm just going to call it Animations. And I'm going to click and drag the animations that I've downloaded and throw them into here. Now I want to make sure Input Mesh is turned off because I don't want to import a new character mesh, I want to use the same one that's in here and I just want to apply it to the hero TPP skeleton and hit import all. Now what I'm going to do is just uh, remove all these T poses here because I'm not going to need those so I'm just going to select these and just get rid of them. Okay and now I'm going to make a simple blend space that we can then use in the animation blueprint so I'm going to right click here and come to animation and then blend space and I'm going to grab the hero TPP skeleton again and call this Mixamo blend space and I'm going to crack this open now I'm going to keep this simple we have a X division and a Y division here as well and uh, the X is going to be called um, direction and the Y is going to be called speed so I'm just going to wait until this uh, auto saves finished and just type these in just here now So with the speed, I have a walking animation and also a running animation. So by default, my character moves at 250 walk speed. And then when I, uh, I've created a basic sprint, sprint function, uh, when I hold down left shift, it's going to go up to uh, 500. So I'm just going to change that to 500. And then direction is going to go between negative uh, 180 sorry that's going to be negative 180 and then 180 just here and then hit apply parameter changes so now we can throw on the Mixamo animations we can just get idle and chuck it in the center down at the bottom where we're at no speed and then uh, left sprint uh, let's have a look here let's just get it simple let's get the walking it's going to be at 250 and then the running is going to be at 500 so basically we're going to be going from idle, walk, run, but then we have some strafing here as well, so I'm going to just grab the uh, the right walk, throw that on the right hand side, and I'm going to grab the left walk, throw that on the left hand side, and then the right running strafe, throw that there, and then the left running strafe, and throw that on there as well. Okay, and then I'm just going to close this down. So now what I'm going to do is create an animation blueprint for our character, so I'm just going to right click, come to animation, and then animation blueprint. Scroll down on the bottom and select our correct skeleton, which is the hero TPP again. And then just call this uh, Mixamo and then B. I'm going to throw this open. And we want to start making this guy move as quickly as possible. So I'm going to come to the event graph just here. And then the first thing we need to do is uh, calculate his speed and his direction. So to do that, I'm just going to drag this out. And we can start by checking if he's valid, which is always good and then we can drag it out once more and type in get velocity and then we basically want to give this as a, a whole number basically not just um, x, y and z coordinates so I'm just going to drag this out and type in vector length and then we can right click on this and promote it to a variable and now we have our speed so I'm just going to call this speed but now we need to get the direction and to get the direction all we have to do is just drag out from the velocity and type in calculate and we'll get calculate direction just from that and we can connect that up just there and we want the base rotation so what we can do is just drag out uh, try get pawn owner once more and type in get actor rotation and we can throw that straight into the base rotation just there and then we can have our return value promoted to a variable and we'll call this direction and we'll hit compile and now we'll come to the anim graph and build our first state machine so to do that we'll just right click and then type in add new state machine and then we can just call this locomotion just like uh, uh, the unreal tutorials and throw that and connect it just there we'll throw it open and we're just going to add one state here we're just going to drag it out and add state and just call it idle walk run just to keep it simple then all we need to do is throw in the animation here and we can just right click and then type in Mixamo blend space 
and we have a direction and speed input and we've already correct, uh, calculated those so we can throw those straight in there. Now we can hit compile and see if this works. So he's updated his animation. If I bring the speed up, he should start moving, which he does, and then he starts running. And if I change the direction, he, he moves up, uh, he moves to this direction as well. So that's great. So I'm just going to hit compile and then close this down. So now all we have to do is select the character's blueprint and update the animation blueprint for the mesh. So I'm just going to go into the blueprint editor, uh, select the, uh, the mesh and then choose the one we created in the Anim Blueprint class and that was for me a uh, mix of Anim Blueprint and just hit compile. Okay, and if I hit play, um, the animation is not updating and that's probably because I didn't just connect this bit up here which I didn't do. Okay, so that's fine. And let's try that just once more. Okay, so he's moving slightly to the right when we're stood still but we can fix that but we can see that the, uh, the rest of the animations are quite nice. I've added in a basic sprint as well. Um, so let's take a look at why he's moving a bit right. Let's come back to our blend space. And you can see uh, we've got this line going up here and here. Basically when he's idle, when the speed's zero, we always want it to be the idle animation. So I'm just going to come back to Mixamo idle and just throw that on either side. So we can uh, it basically finishes us off this shape we've just created here, and that should hopefully uh, fix all that up for us, which it does. So now we have uh, this custom animation pack working with our new blend space and animation blueprint. So thanks for checking this tutorial out. I hope it helps, and make sure you stay subscribed.